And so, I mean, farmers have been trying to figure out how to market themselves, how to market their products, and really, I would say kind of how to market their story. So do you have any advice there on like how they can effectively market their story that makes them unique and kind of how consumers can kind of connect with that? Yeah, I can. Uh, but I'd also tell you this, like, you know, we're in, um, we're in Northern Florida, but even more North Florida, right on the Alabama, Georgia line, there's a lot of ag. Oh yeah. And I, one of my best friends literally like two weeks ago bought a farm. Oh, no way. Um, about an hour North of Panama city. <laughs> and you know, he bought about 50 acres, nothing crazy, but he wants to plant, he wants to have animals. He wants mm -hmm. to raise animals and plant his own food and all that stuff. And I asked him like, how, how expensive was it? He's like, it's like, well, it's doubled in the last two years. So <laughs> this is farmland in rural areas, like where there's no commerce mm. and it's doubling. And you know, if you own a farm out there, you're probably like, yeah, I've seen that too. But that's, what's so interesting to me. Like there is this move, like right? you can either sell and make a lot of money right now, or you can build a business and make mm -hmm. a lot of money right now. I don't think there's ever been a better opportunity in the agriculture market as there is right now. Like it is one of the best opportunities we've had in probably like 30, 40 years. Yeah. So to go to your question on how I'd look at it to market the business, um, I, I don't do anything unless I understand exactly what you talked about. What does the consumer want? They mm -hmm. are the most powerful force. Uh, I have um, a data. Uh, so I have a, I kind of um, based my company on making sure that we were a data and analytics marketing agency. So we don't have a marketing, you know, I, I saw a lot of marketing agencies out there that sit around and they get a client and then they go, well, let's talk about your business. And they get their business and they go, okay, well, we just had a brainstorming session and we think uh, we know how to, we have some great ideas we run by you. And it's based on nothing, mm. right? It does has nothing to do with the consumer. It's just what a bunch of creative marketers want to do. Like that, that doesn't work in this world right now. And I tell people all the time, if you don't get into the game of data analytics and especially in, in the way of, in the marketing world, you're going to be lost you're going to be behind everybody in the world very soon. So there's a moment right now where if you're in this economy, farm economy, you have an advantage to be an exponential business by just going with that kind of use. Look, farming right now, tell me if I'm wrong, is based on a lot of data and analytics. It's almost mm -hmm. turned into a money ball approach. People don't oh, yeah, know. 100% plant some stuff and say, well, harvest, is it the, you know, the, the you know, the, <laughs> the right moon or whatever the farmer's own access or whatever it is. Right. No, like uh, it, it is a billion dollar business for a reason because it's being run scientifically and it's being run. I always call us a, a money ball marketing agency, but that's how the farm farm industry is as well. It's a money ball issue. Like they are looking and, and, they don't take risk because risk means they lose everything. Mm -hmm. 